Hey everybody, Steve Brown, brownsport.com. I get asked all the time, how do I keep some confidence? I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of negative. How do you keep that confidence going? Well, I've got some ideas for you and I really know that I, I know I'm confident that, uh, it's going to help you out. So, uh, first off, you want to make an effort to keep positive thoughts in your memory bank all the time. You want to recall positive, good, happy feelings that have gone on in your past. You don't want to dwell on the negative stuff. You don't want to dwell on some bad things that happen because they're not important. You want to keep the positive thoughts going. You want to keep yourself pushing. Now, I've, I've got quite a few uh, memories, uh, I guess you might say, of, of different motivational speakers. I've got memories from different books that have, have pushed the motivation, pushed the self-confidence because if we're not our biggest fan, then we're in trouble. You know, as um, as I've read before, the biggest, you want to be the Don King, as, as Holton Bug says, you want to be the Don King of you. You want to be the one that pushes, 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 even if you're not saying it to other people, but you want to say it to yourself over and over and over again. The subconscious mind believes anything it's told. So if you keep telling yourself positive, positive, positive information, you will start believing it. And... With that, you don't want to let those negative gremlins attack your, your confidence. You don't want to let that negativity, uh, as, as Jim Green puts it, those gremlins, those gremlins that, that cause fear and cause doubt and, and tear away at your self-confidence. You want to tell them to shut up because that's what it comes down to. If you've got any negative thoughts in your head, that anything that tells you you can't do something, you tell it to shut up because it doesn't deserve to be there. Because if it tells you that you can't do it and you believe it, then you can't do it, but you can tell it to shut up. You can make sure that you can do what you need to do. So again, recall those positive thoughts. Keep the, the positivity going. Don't let it pull you down. Now, a lot of people get, you've got confidence and all of a sudden somebody will say something and you get, eh, things are bad. No, no, no. Keep people in perspective. Remember that they may have a bad day. It is not personal. Do not take anything personal. One of the, the four agreements, uh, one of those agreements is don't take anything personally. It's not about you. If some guy honks at you because he's having a bad day, it's not your fault. Now, even if you had done something that deserves a honk, still, don't worry about him. He's in his own journey. You're on yours. You keep positive. Keep it going. Keep the positivity flowing. Do not take other people personal. Because again, they're on their journey. You're on yours. Keep positive. Their beliefs do not delegate your reality. So if you've got some guy that's just in a bad mood all the time, don't take him personally. He's the one that has issues, not you. So again, don't take things personal. Keep people in perspective that we're all having our own issues. So again, their personality not your fault. Um, at the same time, make everything you do and say confident. Everything you do and say needs to represent your confidence. Now, we can adjust that. We can say, I'm going to do these physical acts to make myself more confident. Um, they found that you want to be the guy in the front seat. You want to be a front seater. You're the one that when you go to an event, you go to a training conference, you go to class. Be in the front. Don't be the guy in the back. The guy in the back, he's just there to fill a seat. You, however, you're there to learn. You're there to be part of the group. You're there to learn as much as you can. Again, that can get build your confidence because you know why you're there. You're there to learn. You're there to grow. So that's what our team needs. We need people that are wanting to be there, wanting to grow. Um, you want to manage your emotions. Again, that, that harkens back to uh, dealing with uh, dealing with other people. Again, don't take them personally. Do not be offended by them because, again, they're on a different journey. Don't take them personally. Don't don't let their inner problems cause you issues. So don't take them personally. Uh, walk 25% faster. Now, this is the, the reason for this is it gets your mind going, keeps you moving. People look at you and go, hey, he's moving fast. What's he doing? You also, you don't want to be that one. Well, he's just slouching around. He's just kind of moseying. No, no, no. You want to be, hey, we want to keep moving. We want to go, go, go. 25% faster. Keep ourselves moving. People notice that. Okay. People look at them and go, hey, he's doing something. He's in a hurry. He's got something happening. People like busy people. And when you can push that, 
then that, that gets your posture going and uh, people notice it. Uh, speak up. When you're in class or you're in a meeting or something, if you have a belief, if you have something you want to share, speak up. And at the same time, when you speak up, you want to speak slowly, clearly, and loud enough for everybody to hear it. And if you can say something, say it with confidence. Hey, I believe something. My belief says I'm good enough to be here. If I'm good enough to be here, then my opinion matters. You speak up, you share it, you let people know about it. Also, last but definitely not least. Now, this is a big one. I'm, I'm a big believer in this one. Your thoughts dictate your actions and your thoughts dictate how other people respond to you. If you go through and you think that you're not worthy, other people can pick up on that. You are worthy. You are great. And you deserve to, to get anything that you go after. So when somebody else, you know, just doesn't accept what you're doing, fine. You don't take it personally. You keep going. You think positive and your thoughts becomes actions. How we think is how we act. So keep that in mind. If we think positive, if we think like we're, we're worthy, then we will be worthy and our actions will show that. So guys, Go out there, know that you're worthy, know that you can be out there with the big dog because you yourself will be a big dog. Go out there, make it happen because you know that as long as you believe it happens, it will happen. Les Brown always says, it's possible. And once you know that it's possible, if other people have done it, you don't need faith, you just have belief. And if you believe it's possible, it is. Guys, this has been Steve Brown at brownsupport.com. I love y'all. Have a great day. Know that there is greatness in you. And hey, like always, subscribe to me on YouTube, like me on Facebook, uh, follow me on Twitter. Hey, I'm out there, guys. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.